All right, hello everybody and welcome back to this CSGO game. We have the knife round between Fnatic and the Estonians, and oh my god, so far so good for the Swedes. The Estonian is running away, but Fetz will get the knife kill, but Flusha will flush him down the toilet, and it is 1-0, and Fnatic win the pistol round here on D-Nuke. Right, okay, back to my normal voice. Sorry, like I said, it is somewhat tradition to cast the knife round in a strange accent. So, uh, so yeah, let's get that over and done with. That's over and done with now. And uh, the song was DJ Antoine Macheri. Macheri. DJ Antoine Macheri. Um, some people writing in the chat. And uh, thank you very much for doing that. So, guys, we have Fnatic, another Swedish team. Of course, Fnatic beat NIP, the, the, uh, the team we were casting, well, I was casting, a few minutes beforehand. Um, at DreamHack Winter, the DreamHack Winter final. Of course. So here we go. Here goes nothing. We've got the online bots who, uh, as far as I was aware, they were called Mayam, but uh, I guess they've changed their name to online bots. So let's see how good these bots are. They're uh, going to go balls deep into ramp already. Geranimo is what they say. Devil walk with the nade. Blowing Nugget to smithereens. But Chetty wasting no time whatsoever to get the reverse kill. And Dodds coming from behind. He will get one. And is the second going to be added to the score sheet? Nah. Uh, not on Flush's watch. So the T's are on this lower bond site. They spot JW. Some say JW's the best. When at the moment, he looks like he's in good form. So down. Two versus one. It's Schneider versus Fetz. He knows where he is. And easy peasy lemon squeezy. We know how experienced this Fnatic side is. They've seen it all. They've done it before. And they've got the T-shirt. And it will be 1-0 to the Swedes. <laughs> Suddenly American. Well, some people, I, I really do not understand. Like, I'm not going to become this kind of like caster who's just talking with the chat. But I am by myself today, so I do need to, you know, fill in these gaps. And I don't quite understand where where a certain someone has got Australian from. I'm telling you, mate, I'm not from Australia. My name's not Toby One. I don't cast Dota, and I'm not here in Melbourne, in Sydney, to cast Counter Strike Source or Counter Strike Global Offensive. So here we are, Devil Wolf making his way towards ramp, and uh, back to the normal voice. Pronax spots one of the uh, those pesky terrorists going in. Easy kill for him, and exactly what we expected. JW, he loves that Mag 7. He's a great opera as well, so he obviously loves weapons that get you one kill deaths. And uh, he's utilised it a lot on Nuke Chetty with surely what's only going to be a consolation. And Dodds on 7 HP. He's calling for a medic. And there we go. Flusher disposes of him with ease. 2-0 is the score. Right, okay. Let's, let's, let's get professional now. Let's get professional. Let's focus. Drink water. And let me know what you guys think the score will be. I'm going to say 16-5 in favour of Fnatic. So the T's, as expected, they have gone for that early buy. And with JW and Devil Walk, you know, not on a proper buy. Devil Walk with that FAMAS. JW on the, pretty much the Mag 7. Uh, they might struggle against 5 AK-47s here. So let's see what happens and how this round unfolds. Devil Walk is playing ramp by himself. It's just a, a lone rifle setup, which is what we saw LDLC do in the previous game against NIP. Maniac did it quite well, and hello, Pronax. Oh, good shot from Nuga. And ah, oh, the Onbots. Gonna start to look like, um, well, a bit more like humans. And make it 2-1 uh, on the scoreboard. So, they've been flashed out the back. Oh, Flusher comes from behind. Who would have thought it? Two kills for the Swedes. And it's three players apiece once again. So, where are these terrorists? They're slowly marching towards the lower bomb site. How on earth Devil Walk did not manage to get that frag beats me. The smoke is dispersed on the bomb site. The flashes are going out. And hello, Dodd's headshot onto Schneider. And Flusher is no more. 2 on. And uh, great character from the Estonians. You've got to give them the benefit of the doubt because, of course, well, um, they bought up. They had AKs. They only lost two of them. And Fetz and Nugger should be able to afford AKs uh, right now. Yeah, they can. And Fnatic have forced the buy. Wow, Devil Walk has no helmet. Pronax has no armor whatsoever. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that's the right decision um, that Fnatic are making? Let us know in the chat. Well, let me know in the chat. 
I'm used to casting with someone alongside. So here we go. Let's see what on bots pulled out the bag this time round. Helix has been, I think, down to about 75 HP, but he's still alive and well. No need to call in the medics just yet. Devil walk on ramp room by himself, as always, and Flusher is holding outside, so the T's are taking it nice, slow, and steady. They're keeping it cool, calm, and collective, and let's see who's going to exterminate who first with first blood. Dodds is going to exterminate JW, and well, I'll tell you what, guys, Dodds is on fire, and I casted a game with JW playing you a lot with that Mag 7 early on in the week, and well, he wasn't doing it very well, so so far, he's still playing with that same poor Four. And you guys remember, you guys remember, it's something to do with Swedes on Nuke, right? They go two or three men down. We saw it with NIP. It looks like the other team are going to go away with the round. We saw N on bots take a two-man advantage and Fnatic somehow managed to bring it back and pull it back out of the round. Now, let's have a look at the on bots. Well, they've got a lot of cash. Dodds is on 5k. Um, Helix on 3... Oh no, Chetty on 1.4. Nugo on, on, on 1.4. Okay, so they couldn't afford the proper buy. But it, what it does mean is that they'll probably be able to afford an AWP going into this uh, next round after they most likely lose this round. Also, you'd expect them to. Dodds is going to peek out the corner and Dodds once again... He's uh, proving to be a massive nuisance for JW. In and around that squeaky area. Lovely shot from Helix. And it is two versus two. Pronax is stuck on Mustang. Devil Walk blows Helix to smithereens. And it's the silenced M4 versus that big M4. Good shooting from Devil Walk through the smoke. He, ooh, Nuga catches a glimpse of him. It's Devil Walk versus Nuga. It's Fnatic versus Onbots. And Devil Walk walks like a devil and wins it for Fnatic. And the score is 4-1. Yeah, people who are, you know, ruining the score in chat, please don't do it. I don't want to have to, you know, ban people. I've not got any mods. I've received about 200 messages in my Twitch chat, people asking for mods. So, come on, be nice, be nice. You know, we know what the CSGO community is like. You're all lovely people. So, JW will get the first blood frag onto Chetty. Pronats getting in the action. And, whoa, look at this. Flusher's pushed outside already. It's Flusher versus Nuga. Flusher wins that battle. And Fnatic win the battle overall. 5-1. One is your score going into round seven and the T's no the T's decoing once again guys and it's problematic for the T's because they didn't win the pistol round they barely have any money in the bank and they really need to you know win at least one round or win one or two rounds consecutively to try and get some money in the bank and you know build up on this because they really need to because as it stands they're gonna get weapons Fnatic will beat them <laughs> Great shot from Flusher. And then they'll have to deco again. And as it stands, we'll just probably end up seeing 16 1 in favour of Fnatic. So come on, Estonians. Get your game together. We know you're better than this. Even up against tough opposition like Fnatic, of course, who once again beat NIP in the DreamHack Winter Finals. So Nuga with that Glock. He's uh, trying to spar and scout out one of these. Um, the remaining five CTs. JW pushes in once again. Here we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy for Fnatic. And what is there to say, really? Absolutely nothing. Fnatic, they went quite aggressive, really, but they're confident in their own ability. They got the frags. They produced the goods. And they're six rounds up. And this game is proven to be a lot different to the NIP game we saw earlier on, where this game is coming across as very, very, uh, very, very one sided. Um, but yeah, guys, just a heads up, I haven't had much sleep. Like I said, I was casting Gfinity in London, and I live nowhere near London, so I basically got home today in the morning. So here we go, JW, all eyes on these terrorists, and you can see how the online bots have changed it around. They were trying to take it slow, but now they've decided to go balls deep into the bomb site and push straight in. And well, it's allowed them to edge closer and closer to the bomb site, but they are low on health. And they've, oh wow, one of them's dropped down to the lower bomb site. And wow, Fnatic have got caught with their pants down. It is two versus two. It's Dodds and Nuga versus, well, not Nuga anymore. It's Dodds. He will land the headshot onto Flusher. And it's one versus.
this is one. It's not the first clutch to what situation we see Devil walk in. And he is holding the defuse. And where is number six? Here he is. Dogs with the kill. And just in the nick of time as well. But 6-2 will be the score. And finally, you have to ask yourself the question. Is this round, is that win a very narrow win to say the least? But a win is a win. Is that what Onbots need to, you know, spur them on? to start getting a few rounds in the row because oh, what's the word I'm looking for consistency is key in Counter-Strike and that's something the Estonians need against a world-class side like the Fnatic Swede here so Nugent made his way outside one AK from him and Flusher it's, uh, it's uh, good night Vienna for him Schneider coming around the corner Chetty good shooting from the Estonians and just when it seemed like oh well, J JW, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, no scope. And JW is going to wreak havoc. No, he's not. Chetty puts him to sleep. And it is one versus one. Lovely. Oh, Helix coming round. And my word, this is happening fast. And once again, note to self, Kai and I bring a co caster in because at the moment. I can't keep up round after round. Deary me. Whew. Here we go. So. 6-3 is the score. Fnatic just barely in the lead, but then, then again, it is a you know a, C, a CT sided map. So the T's five AKs in hand. Devil can co with five M4s. Two sil with two of them being silenced. Here is pushing straight into ramp room. Boom headshot, but Pronax is round the corner to cancel that kill out. Good stuff. And the T's where are they going to stream into now? Let's have a look on the scoreboard. Dodzer has that back, has the bomb on his back. Schneider. Only on 18 HP, but he's using those toxic barrels on top of the bomb site in his favour. Nuga, oh, walking through that smoke, not always the best thing to do. And Flusher was in the right place at the right time to punish him. Four on two. And wow, it's a long way back into this round for the Estonians. They don't have the HP or numerical disadvantage in their favour whatsoever. Flusher is all eyes on ramp room. But the bomb is slap bang under JW. Fetz might catch a glimpse of JW. Come on, Fetz, you've got to take him out. And that's exactly what he does. And when you consider that Schneider's also on this bomb site, who is on low HP, there's the headshot from Fetz. And now it's anyone's round. It's two versus two. Fetz, oh, Pronax is up top. Dodds doesn't know he's there. And there is the headshot. So a small scare for Fnatic, but nevertheless, they managed to get the round. And that's the sign of a top team. You know, when things don't go too well, when they have that advantage, then all of a sudden the opposition hit out at you and turn it into, you know, level pegging or a disadvantage. Fnatic, they've got that experience under their belts. They've got character. How many how many clutches, how many comebacks have we, have we seen them do in the history of both CS 1.6 and CSGO and even when they used to play Source. And that's something the Swedes, the Swedish organization, always love to have in their team because Counter-Strike, it's all good to be good at aiming you've got to be a team with flavor you've got to be a team with character and you can see Fnatic they're absolutely ruthless at the moment they expected the eco to come in from the T's they don't waste any time whatsoever they don't want to give any silly kills to the onbots they push straight out put their dominance down on the map and that has rewarded them with their eighth round So, here we go. Flusher is outside. No orb just yet, and hello, old Schneider. He might have a lot of kills to pull off. No, he doesn't pull... Well, no, he got one there. Take that back. Dodds, he has Flusher and JW to deal with. Flusher narrowly pulling that headshot off, and Fnatic with a narrow one-man advantage. Here comes Pronax from the sky with the shot onto Fetz. And come on, Devil, we'll get the knife. No, no. <laughs> I think the T would have heard him pull the knife out. But solid, solid counter-strike from Fnatic. A lot of people are saying that it doesn't even look like they're trying. But, you know, fair enough. That's your opinion. I'm not going to lie. I don't think they're, <laughs> they're, you know, I don't think they've got the most tense game of their life at their hands at the moment. But, you know, they're, st they're, st they're still approaching it in somewhat of a professional manner. And uh, I think what the Estonians need to take from this is the experience of or the opportunity of playing against such a such, such a quality team like Fnatic. And you never know, give it a few months time, we might see this Estonian team at the next dream hack. Practice makes perfect and all of Flush's practice 
coming into use. Two early kills from him. And here we go. Schneider with one. And I think he's going to get... No, he just walked past the person planting the bomb. Well... Um, I think that was Nuga playing a bit of hide and seek. JW spots the last terrorist, and see you later, uh, see you later, alligator. And we will have 10-3 in favor of the Swedes. Bomb has been defused. Okay, the knife side is now client side. Well, it goes to show that I don't play much CS:GO, doesn't it? Yeah, played um, CS 1.6 and Source for, uh, I think, if you for about seven years. Uh, Source was my main game though, played about a year of 1.6, uh, but yeah, that's actually quite interesting. What do you guys think? Do you think that's the right thing to do, to make sure that opposition can't hear the knife sound? Uh, I don't necessarily agree with it, I think it takes away uh, some, 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 crucial, some crucial information from the game, I don't know, that's my, that's my view, view, view on things, but I doubt Valve really give a shit what I think. So Flusher, I spoke about his AWP earlier on, he's finally got it, and well, it's shooting practice for Flusher. Fetz is going to try and hunt him down in the smoke. Wow, Flusher through the smoke. How does he do that? I don't know. But now Helix is all by himself and he will drop Devil Walk. He's being pushed from behind. Surely he will hit Schneider. But Schneider says, not on my watch. Um, uh, I might play for Fnatic. I'm not a ninja, but no opposition can hear my footsteps pushing computer room. 11-3 and Fnatic, well, CT side in map. Uh, a long, long, very long way back, 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 back for Ombots, and they're going to need to play the CT side of their lives if they, you know, want to try and potentially even pull this one back on the second half. Let's see how it pans out. JW dropping down, Devil Walk, easy people left to squeeze, he's shooting practice off and asking, where are these Estonians going? Uh, well, I, don't, I don't even know if I want to say anything to do with that, because I'm not quite sure what the Estonians are doing in this case, you know? We know how tight that hut door is. Why are all five of them trying to push out the same place simultaneously? Up against those silenced M4s, or even the regular M4s of, of Fnatic, which is so good to spray with. Um, it's a lot easy, you know, it's a lot easier for me to say this, you know, being sat in the Go TV or whatever you want to call it, being able to see the positions of both teams. But I think that the Estonians have just perhaps approached small bits of this game, like that last round, um, ever so slightly incorrectly. Like, you want to take a, a quick push onto the A bomb site. We've seen it work tons of times. But not when you've got all five players rushing out a hut. You've got to split it. You've got to maybe send someone round outside to smoke it out and push through main. Maybe you want one or two people pushing through squeaky and then one, two or three people pushing through hut. Not everyone pushing through hut at the same time because, <laughs> unfortunately, they can't shoot bits off that door to, you know, fit everyone in. But, uh, people... Right, this is going to be my last uh, my last warning. I don't want anyone to post scores in the chat. So, uh, stay mature, guys. Um, we do have some mods in and around the channel. Um, if you haven't followed the channel, please do. If you haven't followed me on Twitter... Please do that too. I'd be ever so greatly thankful. So, Chetty is pushing down to that lower bomb site. Dog's going very aggressive. Is this the right thing to do? Probably not. And Chetty as well. It looks like Mayim are just sick of this game. Then they just want to get it over and done with. Or maybe that's their game plan. I have no clue. Flusher gets the kill onto Dodds, and it's Fetz and Nugget, the last CT standing. Pronax is slowly tiptoeing behind. Bog standard headshot, and Fetz is all by himself. He's down on this lower bomb site. And here we go. Pronax to his left. No one to his right. Here he is, stuck in the middle with Fetz. 13-3, and Fnatic, of course, winning that pistol round. Uh, they've got AKs. They're not wasting any time whatsoever or any money on SMGs, guys. They've gone all in. They've gone balls deep into the AK-47s. And you'd really expect them now, Fnatic, a team of Fnatic's calibre, to really go ahead and make it 14-3, and maybe even 15-3 after winning that pistol round. Um, up against only P250s and a few 5.7s on the CT. Devil Walk opening the scoring with that kill onto Dodds with only a pistol. Oh, lovely shooting from Frosia. And Fnatic, they're just making it look far too easy at the moment. Devil Walk already dinking a player. He will go down. And let's see if the online bots can capitalise on this man advantage, this is, um, yeah, on this man, this is, what am I saying, it don't matter, Chetty is pulled 
down towards secret because of the terrorists outside. Well, the terrorists, where are they going? They're, oh, they're going back towards lobby because they knew Chetty was in and around that secret area. That 5.7 case hardened, which is, of course, quite a powerful gun. JW, where is JW? He's, wow, JW's in heaven already. And the Ombots look like they've got absolutely no idea he's even there. 35 seconds and counting. Go on, JW. Pull that shot off and down goes Chet. Surely no! Chet with the kill and Pronax comes in to sweep it down. And oh, head, oh wow! The team, <laughs> team kill from Schneider and it's Pronax versus Fett. And Pronax finally pulls it off. But I can't believe what I just saw. Schneider with the team kill. Uh, make of that what you will, guys. Uh, probably one of the funniest team kills I've seen in quite a while. 15-3 um, is what I reckon we'll see on the cards. I predicted 16-5, if my memory serves me correct. I think some people predicted 16-3. So, whoever predicted 16-3 in the chat, fair play to you. If only CSGO Lounge took bets on exact scores or something along those lines. So, Nuga with, well, the CTs, guys. Those M4s are just so much more expensive than the AKs. And they still, third round into the second half, they can't afford to buy them. They can't afford to buy them, and they're up against four AKs and a Galil. And it's really going to be tough for Ombos, because Fnatic, you'd expect them to go and take match point now. So let's see whether they'll uh, live up to the expectation. I think Chetty's definitely heard one of the T's drop down off main. So... Bomb on the back of Pronax. Uh, that's one thing we've seen Fnatic do quite a lot. They've gone outside. They boosted JW up into heaven and made their way back round towards lobby because they've got JW in heaven. The bait has been placed and now they want to attack the A bomb site through lobby. And Fetz is holding this angle and there we go. He's got the bomb in his feet. He's picked up that cake on an AK that he's caught with his pants down once again. 15-3 as expected. And I think I can see Chewy in the chat. Blame Chewy once again. Yeah, I wish Chewie was uh, casting with me as well, but uh, unfortunately he's at university at the moment. Um, but uh, hopefully on Friday or in a few days' time, Chewie will join me once again. Banks also wants to get in on some of the action. Of course, the person who I cast with at Gfinity, so let's see how it unfolds. The Estonians finally have M4. Oh, Chetty had them lined up in a line, but is this finally going to be the Estonians' first round on this second half? Fetz with the hat trick, and it looks like they've got some sort of sign of intent, but because Fnatic won that pistol round, guys, they've got so much money in the bank, it doesn't matter they lost that round. They can still afford to buy AK-47s, Kalashnikovs. So the question at hand now is whether the Estonians will be capable of uh, unlocking this Fnatic side, who so far have been absolutely brilliant. It's simple as well. I mean, spotless, no mistakes really on their behalf. The four rounds conceded, as you'd expect, you know, on a CT side of map. Um, Neil will be asking a little bit too much. So JW wreaking havoc as always outside. Helix is going to try and track him down. But I think, oh no, he might spot Flusher. It's Flusher versus Helix. And there's the headshot onto Flusher. And it's level pegging once again. Four versus three in favor of the CTs. And Schneider leveled things up at three versus three. And we're going now where it's so tense. One team gets a kill. Then the other team gets a kill. It's so tense. And the question at hand now is, is it going to be Fnatic's game? Or are the Estonians going to pull off some sort of miraculous comeback? Fetz most certainly wants to do that. He got a hat-trick in the last round. And he's got two to his name already. And he's playing Super Mario in the vents. Helix is in the right place at the right time. It's Pronax versus the world. And he is no more. 15-5. And the Estonians are slowly creeping back into this. drink of water, especially when my block noise, my block nose is starting to come along. So the Fnatic, they don't want to waste any time here. I think Chetty, oh, he's got a lot to deal with. Hat trick from him, and I don't think the Fnatic players will last much longer. Up against the triggers of those M4s, so powerful. And um, when uh, 
presented by uh, five Russian terrorists. 15-6, the score becoming slightly more respectable. I predicted 16-5. That's my prediction thrown down the toilet. Um, someone predicted 16-3, unfortunately. That's your prediction thrown down the loo as well. But Fnatic finally have five AKs. They've only got Glock, so it's not a full-on buy. A um, few of them have, you know, a few smokes and flashes here and there. Flusher is lacking a flash. But uh, I'm sure that won't dishearten them too much. Dodds hands that all. Fets with the headshot. No, it's not a headshot. Onto Pronax. And he's just peeking through the smoke. Pulls the trigger at the wrong time. And there's a lovely shot from Devil Walk. And that's what we've come to see. Cool, calm, collective, sexy Counter-Strike. Schneider all alone on his own outside. And he's creeping, trying not to make his presence No, He's going to spot one. He's going to take him down. But Chetty didn't take too long to rotate and avenge his teammate's death. 15-7 is your score. And Fnatic, they're on match point. They're so close to actually winning the game. But... Uh, you know, it just goes to show that Counter-Strike can go any way. How ironic would it be if Fnatic went on to win this deco round of theirs and, you know, make it 16, win the game with only P250s and CZ75s? Uh, it's possible, but with Dodds orping outside, maybe not, because that big green gun is so, so powerful. And uh, I call it the big green gun a lot, but to be honest, most of the time we see a big uh, white and orange gun, or a big orange gun, or a big purple gun, the amount of skins that have popped up in the game. Uh, so it's not really the big green gun anymore. Anyways, let's stop my rambling on about the skins and have a look at what Fnatic are doing. They're decoing, they're just trying to make loads of noise. They've got the bomb on T roof. Pronax has made his way towards main and JW as well. Helix is in the right place at the right time. Two easy kills for him, and yeah, Fnatic, they, they don't seem to really be giving it 100%. They seem to be somewhat kind of lost here on these decos. Um, there we go, Helix with the hat trick. And he's looking for that fourth, you know. He's trying to spray through the box, and at the moment, we're witnessing the Helix show. Where's Schneider? Devil walks in lobby, and Schneider, well, he's going towards Helix. 35 seconds and counting. And Fnatic, they don't seem interested in really even trying to plant the bomb. It's Schneider versus Helix. Helix with the four man. And Devil Walk, I think now, yeah, Fex kills him. 15 8. Not much to talk about. Not much to shout about, really. Um, but, and here, well, I wouldn't say it's the moment of truth, but. You'd expect something good to come from Fnatic, you know, finally. They don't want to give away too many rounds, because, you know, if they lose this round, they'll have to deco again. And it'll probably become 15-10. And 15-10, believe it or not, is quite nerve-wracking. At 15-8, they've given the Estonians a decent number of rounds. But come on, Fnatic, it's time to see some of those NIP tactics put into use. Some of those anti-Titan tactics put into use. We want to see some of the real Fnatic nitty-gritty put into place here. And, of course, they don't want to give away too much about their new tactics and all that. But come on, you've got to win the game nevertheless. Chetty is playing behind the CT vent. And, uh, well... Mr. Autodirect doesn't really like looking towards the terrorist at the moment, does he? Devil Walk, oh, they've gone all into this bomb site already. Schneider with that first kill. Devil Walk as well. And I think the CTs were playing slightly too defensive on this upper A bomb site. The bomb is down on the upper bomb site. But Nugger rotating, getting a kill. Helix is in the vents. And that vents is just so inaccurate to shoot from when you're on the ladder. My question now is why is Helix shooting? Why is Helix moving into the bomb site by himself? He had other teammates pushing in. Now he's pushing him by himself. And there we have it. 16 rounds. Dodds gets an org. Pronax gets the case. And it is GG. Flusher topping the scoreboard for Fnatic with 28 kills. And the top fragger for the online bots is Helix with 16 kills, 17 deaths. Whew. All right. Uh, I think Chu is saying I'm very good at uh, Russian accent. Some people try to tell me that I sound like FPS Russia. Somebody saying, I am gay, I assure you, I'm not gay, but even if I was gay, there is no problem with being gay. Being gay, you need to live with that. Some people in this world are gay, some people are straight, and that is life. So yeah, guys, we do have Titan and Alternate coming up. Um, I do, of course, want to 